let me show you a strat for this bomb site that I consider the worst bomb site in all of Siege. I recently learned on console, the console community doesn't reinforce these walls and I don't get it. But because I have been playing console and I see it happen all the time, let me show you a strat that a lot of them try to do, but I'm gonna perfect it. You see, a lot of people like to reinforce these walls instead on console. And I secretly like it and I'll show you why. What you're going to do is you're gonna reinforce both of these walls instead because you're not reinforcing the garage, right? Now, when you reinforce both these walls, you obviously wanna reinforce this one as well. And I want you guys to pick Bandit because when you pick Bandit, you're now able to Bandit trick all three of these walls. It's a little off meta. And if you really wanted to, you can shoot over both of these walls here and impact trick as well. Now, what you're going to do is put in a zombie wall here. This zombie wall is arguably the most important part to the strat or the most important part of the strat because you now have an option to either open this wall or at least be protected when bandit tricking. All right. Now, let me show you why you would open this wall. This is a very old strat that is meta on gym and master. You see how you're going to open here. And then you're going to open here. Now you're probably going to ask, why would you ever open this wall here and that one there? It's because we all know no matter what, unless you're playing in Copper Elo, this wall is going to get opened by hard beach players very often. So now they have to fight in a zombie or somebody with an ACOG all the way in construction while being out here. And that doesn't include somebody possibly playing Raptors, right? And I really, really like that. Now, if you guys have seen my TikToks before, my videos on YouTube before, you know I'm a big fan of putting your zombies low on angles like this, right? So I know if I'm going to be peeking this, I like to put this a little low. That way I can crouch under it, but still get that access and that peak point. That way later in the round, I'm not stuck with a bunch of holes in the wall that I can't really fight anymore, right? So here, look, I can still fight outside, but I have that protection if I want to get close and personal and I won't get wall banged, right? I really enjoy that. Now... Another wall you guys can consider throwing is this one right here. This is just like the one on Villa. You see, this is not part of the window barricade. So if somebody shoots this window open, right, and eventually the window gets open, right, it won't break down with the window. And I really like that. And you can keep throwing it. And sometimes attackers will put their face in there and you'll just one tap them off because you know what side they have to be on. Just that little peak there, right? Now, as we extend out here and you guys maybe want to roam a little bit and master, you can now take my wall that I love throwing on Jim and Master and put it here. And now you can spin around a fight. You can put one on the mattress. And now look, you're here, you're here, you're comfortable. You guys are playing together. You can put feet holes here, right? So they can't drop logic. You're fighting that. You fight that, right? You fight there. And then you can back your way up into here, right? And you work all your way back. But you don't want to lose this room, right? This is the room that you don't want to lose. Let me know if you guys like this one. I think this is one of my favorite Azami setups. And what I really like about this is that if you're losing the site, they're going to go plant. The bandit has what? A nitro. So the bandit will then run to lounge and nitro the guy planting. It's very calm. It's very simple. Even the Azami can come here and impact the wall. And then you guys can fight the people in the raft. It's a really cool retake. If you're enjoying today's content, I highly suggest that you check out my TikTok page. My TikTok has quadrupled in size within the last 30 days. The amount of tips and tricks that go on there daily is unbelievable. And it's all free. I also stream every single day on Twitch. And if you guys didn't know, I even have my own in-game charm that I highly recommend that you guys pick up. Because it helps support my page. It means so much to me. If you have Amazon, you can even get that charm for free. And let's continue with today's video. This is my favorite Azami strat on Oregon Basement. And you can do this solo queue. So what you're going to do first is take this wall and you're going to put it on the light. This is the most basic wall that everyone does now. Because you can see with this wall here, you guys can't see the head height holes, right? So as a defender you get a one-way angle that isn't fair. And if you're using the shotgun on a zombie, you're going to get free kills every time. You guys can see the top first step easily. And again, the attacker can't, so it's broken. If you have teammates to play with, you put a bulletproof camera here and you're untouchable, right? Now, the next thing that's very common now is putting feet holes across the entire bottom. Because as an attacker, right, when you take this area, it is very intimidating, right? You can't see any of laundry. You can't see over that box. You see this box here? It's creating a one-way. So as a defender, if I come back to this side now, you guys can see how that one-way is created. I can see the back wall, but the attackers can't see me. So again, another one-way. Now you have an option here. You can either throw in a wall here, 
or you can throw a wall on the upper half. So when you get to shooting to them, right, they can't get back to you trying to wall bang. You see an attacker, when they get shot at, they're going to try to wall bang you back head height because they see the bullet traces. But what happens if you do this, you put a wall high and they can't wall bang you back, right? I like that. Now, as we head over to the rotate hole here, you guys like to ask me this question a lot. Why do I like to reinforce the right side and not the left? You see, if the wall was open to the right, I could be seen all the way from the staircase and I'll get wall bang trying to enter the closet and I don't want that. So what I like to do if I have people to play with, I have them put disc here, disc up there or ADSs in here and I take a wall and I put it lower, right? This lower wall lets you rotate back and forth, right? Comfortably, but I still have that head height access and I think that is really good, okay? So when it comes to that final one, I personally, I would put a wall high like here. That way, I can still fight here, right? But I can't get wall banged back. You probably want this a little bit higher, but you get the idea that I'm getting at. Some people will think this is stupid. Some people will like it. I absolutely love doing this, right? Now, to end that all off, there's one final thing we need to talk about. As the Azami player, when you fight here, right? You have to be able to fight freezer. You have to be able to fight here and laundry. You have to be able to fight here for the staircase. You see how I have all this access? You keep a wall because if you lose freezer, right? Now that we have the lineups, right? I can take this and now look, they have to crouch and fight somebody with a full auto shotgun. And that same thing will happen at this door here, or you could play the angle here. Azami is really strong in the basin of Oregon. I absolutely love her here. And I actually like her on a lot of maps. Azami on bank is insanely broken. I'm going to show you a strat that always works. And let's start here with the bookcase. So getting pressured from the windows is really annoying. That's why everybody reinforces that wall, not that one, because you can tuck in this corner and get safe from the windows. So something I want you to add is the Azami here on the bookcase. You're going to throw it like this, and that's going to protect you here deep in Trump, all right? Now, the next thing you want to do is protect yourself from the most annoying window of all time. That window and ATM right there. If you're not using it, you're probably not winning a lot on bank. So you could drop down and make it easier if you want, but you want to make sure that it's facing the right way. So you see how it's turning left and right, right? So right, left. Left is the better version of the throw. So you throw it just like this. Now, when you come back up and you get back into this Trump area, you're going to see protection here, but also look, protection from that outside window that is so annoying to deal with. So now you can play really comfortable here and you're not worried about getting you know sniped from the windows. Now you're going to have a couple walls left. So let me just show you a couple of things that I like to do, but you don't have to do. I'm just going to give you options, right? Nothing wrong with options. One option is right here on the couch, or you can go deeper here on the couch. So the reason why this wall is so good here is because look at the protection all the way around. If I'm here and I want to peek down into ETM, I am not going to be taken out by those outside door angles here, all right? It's giving me more space to move around in the middle of the site and you want that but you still want to keep that outside pressure so this wall is a must throw if you're not throwing it you're probably not winning a lot of games up here and you probably feel like you have nowhere to go another thing i want you to start doing is vaulting up here on the table because when you vault up here on the table and you go like this one two three look you can see all the way to top squares so this is two really broken angles and the walls are everywhere so after seeing these walls you guys can do whatever you want with your final two or three let me know in the comment section what you're using, but this is my favorite setup. And what I like to do with my extra walls is just replace. If that gets ashed down, I replace it. If this gets ashed down, I replace it. If that gets ashed out, I replace it. I just keep replacing. That way I'm really comfortable in the site. So a lot of you guys are playing Villa just like this, and there's nothing really wrong with it, but you should also be extending out with the zombie. So let me show you how. What I want you to first do is take a wall and throw it right here. That way you're protected at the door. Now, obviously, if you're in a stack, get with my disc, get ADSs, do whatever you can to keep this wall up as long as possible. But don't forget, you always have more and it's OK to use them in the same spot if it's going to keep you alive. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is this window here. A lot of people don't know this, but this is lifted out, right? So I can put a wall, let's say here, right? And if this gets broken, right, completely shot out, the wall will stay up. And you want that because it's going to keep you in this nice little space where you can keep fighting that outside barricade area or that door balcony area and you're comfortable. You can keep throwing them. It does not matter. 
Now, something I do suggest always that you guys reinforce this hatch if you have a wall, because nothing is worse if you want to go this way and then you're on a hatch that has to get opened up or it's already open and you have to come here where you're not protected. You don't want that. So reinforce it so you have somewhere to go comfortably. You don't have to. It's just how I feel. Now, the other walls, it's going to be very simple but complicated. You have to read the room. If you feel like it's a heavy study push, you're going to take your wall and you can put it here. And the reason you're going to put it here is because then you can vault up and play behind it or stand here and play behind it and just watch this way, right? What you just lost. But if it's a take from the master side and they're ignoring you study, they're going to come on this side and throw it here. So just check to see where the push is coming from. This would be your best option for master over because then what you're able to do is create like little one ways. So what you can do is like take a wall, right? And do a wall, like let's say like, Mm, I don't I don't want to miss throw it. So let's say we put it like let's say we put it low to start, right? See how you put it low here and I can't really see, right? All I can see is here, right? I see this, right? But we're not looking to do that. We're looking to make it a little bit higher, right? So we're looking to do something like this. Hopefully I don't mess it up, right? Boom. Right? We're looking to do them like this. So when I back up, look at the peak I'm looking at. You see this? That's what we're looking to do. That's what wins us games. And that is what helps me rank up the champ solo queuing on console PC don't matter because I can create angles like this and not have great gun skill and still win it. It just works every time.